Hey, TerraCore team, Stephanie here. I have a 20 minute beginner core workout for you and all you need is your TerraCore. I'm just gonna go over a few TerraCore basics. So the beauty of having a TerraCore is that it engages so many more of your core muscles throughout your body just, just by virtue of having, having the air surface. So first of all, we're just gonna work on standing on the TerraCore. If you're not comfortable with we're standing on it, you can always have a chair in front of you or you can have a wall to the side of you just to help help brace you and help balance you. So first, we're just gonna stand on top of the TerraCore and we're just gonna feel the difference of having what, what it's doing to that core, how you feel the stability, kind of the instability and how the core has to compensate. So your core is not just your abs, but it's also your obliques, it's through your back muscles. And the standing on top, just simply by the virtue of standing on top, is gonna change things up. So we're just gonna rock a little bit side to side and just see what that does, see how that feels. Rock forward and back, kind of roll those toes. And again, if you need that wall, or if you need a chair in front of you, feel free to do that until you feel comfortable and just kind of get your balance on it. You can do it with or without shoes, whatever feels best for you. So just that bar rock side to side, front to back little bit of circles, a little bit of hula, you know, do what you need to do, feel it. So once you feel comfortable with that, we're gonna come off and we're just gonna simply step on and off and feel the difference that makes in your body. So just stepping it on and right back off. Switch in legs so you can feel how different it is and you get comfortable with how your body is compensating with that. Just on and off, just a couple times. Good. How's that feeling? Everybody loving it? Crazy how it changes the dynamics. But it's so awesome how it just affects the whole body. All right. So now we're just gonna stand on top. And once you feel comfortable, again, if you want the chair or the wall, or if you feel more comfortable pulling it away, we're just gonna work on closing our eyes. Yes, I know that may sound a little bit scary, but this will challenge that balance and make you feel the, the dynamics going on. So if you can, close those eyes. And just feel your feet balancing you. It makes a huge difference. Rocking it side to side. Just maintaining that structure, maintaining that control. If you want to extend your arms up to the ceiling, out to the side, just play along. Play along with those arms. Play around, play around with whatever you feel more comfortable with whatever you feel like challenging yourself with right now. Good. Once you feel like you've found your spot, we're gonna, we're gonna step right into a little bit of a workout now. So we've got, I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do and then we're gonna go through it. So we're gonna do three rounds and first up we're gonna be standing on top and we're just gonna do little punches. So this is up to you how hard you wanna punch. Obviously the harder you punch, the more it will challenge you. So you should be feeling this all through your arms, through your obliques, through that core. Next up, we're gonna just stand up on top and we're gonna march, just simple marching. And again, if you feel like you need a little bit extra, you can have it next to a wall, or again, you can have a chair in front. We're just gonna march that for 20, 20 per side. And then finally, we're just gonna step it on Pull that knee up, step it off. Switching sides, stepping on, stepping off. And that's gonna be 10 per side. So three rounds through, and let's just get into it. So stand up on top, bracing that core. We're gonna do those punches. So we have 20 per side, or 40 total. So let's get into it. Bend your knees just a little bit. Whoa, you feel those balance checks, and you start doing those punches, side to side. We got 40 total, 20 per side. And again, you can you can challenge yourself. You can take it to your level, just depending on how hard you want to punch. Keep it going and keep that core tight. Keep that core braced side to side. 19 and 20, there we are. All right, so now we're up on top and we're doing that marching. And again, 20 per side, 40 total, however we want to count it. Just bringing those knees up, we're marching, we're filling that instability that that body is creating, but compensating for. Bringing the knees up and in. Again, always, if you need that wall there, go for it. Do what you guys need to do to make this workout work for you. Good. 
keeping that that stability, keeping that control. 19 and 20, there we go. All right, step off. So now we're just doing step off, step on, step off, and then pulling that knee up and in. So pull that knee into your chest. We've got 10 per side, 20 total. That's two per side. Bring it in, crunch it in as much as you can. For four, crunch it. Five, pull it in. And six, make sure you're breathing. Try to breathe in through the nose, out through the mouth. Almost there, team. Keep it going. This will get that heart rate up a bit, too. That's one. There it is. All right. So that's round one. We're going to do it two more times. So now that you guys know kind of what you're capable of, and maybe you're hopefully feeling a little bit more comfortable, try to pull away from that wall or try to take that chair away and just try to make it a little more, more challenging for you. All right. So here we are up on top. We're doing those punches. We've got 20, 20 per side, 40 total. Try to take those punches up a little bit harder if you can. Keep on breathing. Keep that core tight. You guys are doing awesome. Staying with it. Twist it side to side. Fill those obliques. Good work, team. Almost there. 19 and 20. All right, so now we're onto that marching. Bring the knee up and in. Two, three, four, and five, six, seven, eight, Nine, 10, keep breathing. For 12, 13, pulling that knee up. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. All right, those step ups with that knee pulling into that chest. One, two, again, however you want to count. Three, pull that knee up and in. Four, squeeze it tight. Five, that's it, that's it. Come on. Six, almost there. Seven, pull it in, pull it in. Eight, there we go. Nine, and 10. Finish that last one. All right, one more round. One more round, let's see what you guys can do. A little bit of a squat. Let's try to speed up those punches if you can. Let's get it. Two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, a little harder, 17, 18, 19, 20. Good work. All right, for those marches, bring that knee up into that chest. Again, if you can, speed it up a little bit our final round. We've got seven, eight, nine, We're going for 20. Halfway, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. All right, final move. We've got those step ups. If you want to crunch a little bit harder, feel free to pull those arms up and in with it. Step it up and pull it in one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven. Keep it up, keep it up. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Keep it going. Fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. And 20. Good work, you guys. So that was our first round. We're gonna have one more round. Make sure you grab a little bit of water in between. Rest that body a little bit. If you need to walk around, stretch out your feet. Your feet might feel a little bit if you're new to the TerraCore. Yeah, it's, it's a good thing to stretch it out and just let those muscles release a little bit. So next thing, we're gonna be down on the ground this time. We're gonna start out 
I'll turn the chair cord a little bit for you so you can see. A little bit different angle. So first up, we're going to do a plank, an incline plank. So your arms or your hands, again, wherever you feel more comfortable, will be on the ground and your feet, or excuse me, on the top of the chair cord, on the air surface, and your feet will be on the ground. So you can either be in this pose or here, or if this is too intense, you're always welcome to drop those knees to the ground and you can hold it here. Yeah? So we're going to hold that one for 30 seconds. Next up, we're going to go on to the top of the chair core and turn it for you a little bit. So your back is going to lay down on the chair core for a lovely little thing called dead bug. You'll see why in a minute. You resemble a dead bug. Um, but this one is going to be really different probably from what you're used to. So give yourself some, some grace. Take it, take it at your speed, at your pace. So you're going to lay it back. And if you need those hands to the side to balance that control, go ahead and then bring in those knees up. If you can, bring those arms up. How's that feel? You can always leave those arms down on the ground if you need to. All right, so that's dead bug. We're gonna hold that one for 30 seconds. And then finally, we're gonna come in just to a simple crunch. But again, as you bring in the terracore, it just adds a little extra dynamics to it. So you're gonna have your, your booty just slightly off of the terracore. Move this mic a little bit. And then your lower back is going to lay over the top of that air surface. So it should mimic the shape of that lower back. And then we're just gonna crunch it up and in. Just like that for 20. 20 times, three times through. So we're gonna start out with that plank. So remember, take it to your level, you guys. Listen to your body, listen to what you need, but also know that you guys are stronger than you think you are and challenge yourselves because you guys are tough. And if you are on this new journey, your body is capable of more than you think you, than you think you are. So challenge yourself. So let's bring it down to that plank. Again, either hands on the top or you can bring it down to elbows toes or knees, wherever you feel. Hands and knees, whatever, whatever works for you. So we're gonna get here, we're gonna hold it for 30 seconds. Let me get my timer going. All right, in three, two, and one, let's bring it up. So hold that, and I want you to think about trying to pull your elbows and your toes together. So that will increase that intensity that you're feeling through your core but also activate the whole rest of your body. So it really turns it into more of a full body move. You guys are more than halfway done. Stay with it. We got this team. Almost there. Breathe. We got five, three, two, and one. All right. I'm gonna turn that again for you. With those dead bugs. The dead bug. I know it's such a beautiful name, but it's so descriptive. All right, so you're on your back on the terracore, rolling it back. And again, hands down if you need to. Bring those knees up. And then we try to keep that body in control from rocking side to side. So if you want to hold it here, go for it. If you want to extend hands or bring them up. We're going to hold that for 30 seconds. Let's get it. So you'll feel like you'll naturally rock side to side. And you'll feel your body compensating for that stability, that instability that is created from the terracore. You need to rest your head down, go for it. If that's too intense for your neck, but I want you feeling that through the core. All the way, almost there. Keep it going. About three, two, and one. There it is, team. Okay, and then we're gonna finish off with those just simple crunches. Turn it to the side, as you can see my placement. So booty just slightly off and then you're rolling that back just over the, the air surface and then we're going to extend up to the ceiling. So I don't want any momentum here. We're going for 20 but take out that momentum. If you guys are pulling your head, um, maybe bring your hands here or bring your hands here. If your head and your neck needs a little bit of help, just fingertips, light fingertips on the back of the head. That should be feeling it through the core. Good. For 20. We got 10 more. Remember, extend. 
or go wherever your hands need it. Almost there for five. Crunch it up. And three, two, and one. All right, team. That is round one. So now we know what to expect. You know where you can take it up maybe a level or maybe where you need to back it off a level. Just listen to your body and do what works for you. So we're gonna go back down to that 30 second plank hold. And again, if you can come up onto those, to those toes, even if it's just for a couple seconds, go for it. Challenge yourself, see what you can do, what you're capable of. All right, hop on those toes or your knees, wherever you are. And I want you to challenge yourself. Feel that, feel that stability that your core is making. And keep your breath flowing through your body. We never want to hold our breath when we're when you're working out, because then that oxygenated blood can't flow through those muscles, and the muscles can't work properly. It's just a beautiful chain. So we just got to keep that breath going. We got five more seconds. Almost there. Three, two, and one. Come down. All right. Rotating on the dead bug. Rolling onto our backs. Okay. Knees up. Arms up if you can, head up if you can. And again, if you want, you can even bring arms up overhead. Woo, that changes it. Hold that for 30 seconds. Good. Keep it up, keep it up. Almost there, team. We've got a little more than half. Keep breathing. Play with those limbs if you want to extend one arm at a time and see what that does to your body. See how your body compensates. Two, and one. There we go. All right, into those crunches. Let's rotate it. Booties down, back over the top, and let's crunch it in for 20. One, two, three. Remember, taking out the momentum. I wanted a slow, controlled movement. Wherever you want to be with your hands, wherever you're comfortable. 11, keep it up, 12, 13, 14, exhale as you crunch in, 16, 17, breathe, 18, 19, and 20, beautiful, one more round, one more round, we got this, I'm gonna leave the terracore where it is, we've got that plank again, last time through, so challenge yourselves, can you stay on your knees or on your toes the whole time? If you want to bring it up, or if you want to bring it down to your elbows. And I want you to think palms to the ceiling, and let's get it. So think about pulling that core, pulling those elbows and your knees together. So you're almost like wrinkling the floor up underneath your underbody. And we're breathing. Anyone else? Oh, you got it, team. More than halfway. Keep breathing. Stay on those toes. If you can, stay on those toes. You got this. Almost there. Five more seconds. Three, two, and one. Done. Done with those planks. All right, rotating it to the side. You got dead bug. Roll onto your back. And again, play with where those arms are. Bring those legs up if you need to start out here until you gain that control. And then bring your arms out or up. Let's get this. Let's do this thing. You can keep moving, just playing around and feel that body, that weight shift, that stability that your body is creating, that your core is really feeling. It seems like such a simple move, but your core should really be burning right now. It's a good thing. We embrace it. Almost there, three, two, and one. All right, on to our final move. We've got those crunches. So lay it onto your back. Extend out over that terracore and press it up. One, two, three, four, up to the ceiling. Five, I want you thinking up rather than just forward. I'll bring in more of that core strength. 11, keep it breathing. Remember, exhale as you crunch in. 12, I think that was 13. 15, 
16, 17, 18. Last one, come on, come on, finish it up. 19 and 20. Oh, how's that core feeling, friends? All right, we're gonna just do a quick little stretch. You should be feeling it in that core, regardless of what level you took. You will be feeling it. So I want you, we're gonna do a little bit of, of oh my goodness. We're just gonna stretch here. Down to child's pose, there we go. And then feel that core release, feel that spine release. Stretch it out. That should feel so good. And if you want to, roll it up and then stretch through the core right there. Oh, that feels so good. If that's too much, you can take your hands down to the ground. This just gives you a little bit more leverage to stretch through that core. Oh, uh, team, you are done. That is 20 minutes core with Stephanie. Thank you guys for joining me. You rocked it.